it's good YouTube because I call the hair Creek Squad. We're diving into another one from the Confederate Underdog album by Just Trey. I like Just Trey a whole lot. You guys know that I enjoy his style. I've been enjoying watching the growth happen. The bars get better with each and every album and song that he puts out. He's got a lot of creativity, great storytelling, awesome flex bars. I like whenever he gets into that bag as well, which is what I think a lot of this album's going to be, being an underdog kind of album. There's going to be a lot of talking about the rise and the story of how he got here and why he is the way he is, how he feels about the people that talk all the trash on him that gets talked online and have something to say, just addressing all of those things, I think is what this album's pretty much going to be. So we're going to get into the next one off of this. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Amber Wooda, you were asking for some more Just Trey in that post that I made the other day. So we're going to get into another one off of this album for you guys. I hope that you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new here. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics. I like going the whole nine yards on busting out the bars and the meanings inside of them, catching the cool entendres and everything inside of them. I do my best to catch as much as possible for you guys when it comes to the bars because I really appreciate wordplay a whole lot, and I know you guys do too. So, we're going to dive into another one from Just Trey. You guys, please go get help if you need it for mental health and addiction. Go live a better life for yourself. Help other people out that are struggling with that as well inside of their own lives. It's very important to me as somebody that survived that to always make sure I say that in these videos. Please go get help if you need it. So we're going to get into this for you. I'm Vacasa Coffee. A reaction video today keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Just Trey with Buck. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I like the beat already. <laughs> Hop in that country, motherfucker, like Johnny Cash, sucker. The one that rolls around in the woods, motherfucker. The shotgun yeah. will bust you, but we know you don't wanna. In the black of buck in the field, call it something. Hop in that country, Man. motherfucker, like Johnny Cash, sucker. The one that rolls around in the woods, Good motherfucker. Energy. The shotgun will bust you, but we know you don't wanna. He's just talking his shit in that hook right there. He's letting you know. Johnny Cash comparisons. I love it. I love the shout outs to legends and bars. You guys know that I like whenever we get shout outs to legends inside of bars. This is energy on point right here, my guy. Very awesome energy on the beat. That beat is heavy. The way he's carrying the cadence, the level of energy and aggression inside of his voice. Very awesome. I like the start of this so far. Let's see what we get with the verses. Solid hook on this one. Wanna in the black of buck in the field, call it supper. Pop a backwards, I'm the bad wolf for the pack. Pop a bucket, you just watch away your carcass on my back. I'm a big dog, I got my status from that. I've been the lion, see you lying down from hitting my traps. And the lion see you lying down from here on my tracks but he also said he's the wolf that's barking and he's got the carcass on his back that's bars right there i love i love that he has bars like those specifically the references to animals and the comparison lions well lions a, a group of lions is called a pride so he's obviously alluding to being proud of what he's done with himself and everything when he has bars like that but he says the lion leaves you lying when you hear him on the track that's a nice one right there being the wolf with the loud bark and the howl that can carry the carcass on his back he said that's bars i fuck with it for the pack, but but bucket, you just watch away your carcass on my back. I'm a big dog, I got my status from that. I've been the lion, see you lying down from hitting my traps. Everybody rapping now, but I know you ain't saying shit. Always running up, but never man enough to take it. Say it to He said everybody's rapping now, but they ain't really saying shit. I feel that. I feel that. It's all the same shit about. 
fucking drugs and hoes and and whatever whatever the woke agenda is essentially that's what it is at this point whatever they want to promote getting people disconnected from actual reality encouraging them to do drugs fucking throwing sex in their faces trying to get them addicted to all that kind of shit you guys know how it is that they don't be talking about nothing it's all a bunch of nonsense when it comes to half of what you hear inside of modern rap lyrics specifically there's like you have like the old school rappers the old heads that still rap really fucking awesome and meaningful bars but then you get into the new school and there's just a lot of meaningless shit going on just just trace talking about that right there that's just a lot of meaningless shit in the art nowadays I got my status from that. I've been a liar, see you lying down from hitting my traps. Ooh. Everybody rapping now, but I know you ain't saying shit. Always run your mouth, but never man enough to take it here. Say it to my face, you just a product of a little bitch. A little dog is yapping at my ankles, trying to keep up with Bitch, I'm a boss, and I've been the top. Wow. He says, no one will, he says, no one's gonna take a hit. No one's gonna say it to his face. Man. <sighs> Yeah, no, I don't think anyone's tried really necessarily properly, even on like a battle rap kind of front, no one's really tried at all, even though they might have a lot to say online sometimes. <laughs> Everybody rapping now, but I know you ain't saying shit. Always run your mouth, but never man enough to take it here. Say it to my face, you're just a product of a little bitch. A little dog is yapping at my ankles, trying to keep up with a bitch. I'm a boss, and I've been a top gunner. No time cruise, I've been the pilot, motherfucker. Put that bitch in four wheel drive, I've been a road runner. Doing donuts in the field, make it easier for supper. Yeah, country in my blood, I drink it out like. Donuts in the field, make it easier for supper. I like that scheme there. That was a nice scheme. I keep up with bitch. I'm a boss and I've been a top gunner. No time cruise. I've been the pilot, motherfucker. Put that bitch in four wheel drive. I've been a road runner. Doing donuts in the field. Make it easier for supper. Yeah, country in my blood. I drink it out like I'm on IVs. Hang you on my wall so I can dry you out like dry leaves. I for an eye like a buck. Shells a flying trophy for myself and feed my family. No dry. I've been that country, mother. Wow, feed my family no dry heat. He said he's gonna hang you up on the wall to, like to dry like leaves. <laughs> you gotta love it. The humor inside of the bars as well. I like it. It'll make it easier for supper. Yeah, country in my blood. I drink it out like I'm on IVs. Hang you on my wall so I can dry you out like dry leaves. Hey. Eye for an eye like a buck. Shells are flying. Trophy for my myself and feed my family. No dry heat. in that country, motherfucker. Hey. Like Johnny Cash, sucker. The one that rolls around in the woods, motherfucker. The shotgun will bust ya, but we know you don't wanna. In the black of buck in the field, call it supper. Hop in that country, in motherfucker. Like, like Johnny field, Cash, sucker. The one that rolls around. We know you, he said they want to talk all this shit, but they know at the end of the day they don't want to end up like a buck in the field, dinner time, supper, right? <laughs> Call him supper, he says. I love it. Bitch, I'm about to heat. River monster in the creek. Got saliva surprise you inside the woods where we creep. We stock the lowest some meat in the freezer cold with no leaks. So get the fuck up out the way before my shells get to speak. Yeah, I never care what. He's saying, everybody get out of the way. He's, this is just like a cautionary tale right here. He's just he's just basically saying with these bars, approach me with caution at this point. Because I know, he's basically like saying, I know my worth. I know the backing that I have. I know the people that support me. I know that I have that backing and that 
I've actually done something with myself that is good for my life. He's like, and I'll be damned if any of y'all have anything to say about it or actually try to ruin it for me. He's like, this is your cautionary warning to stay the fuck away. Right? And that's what this is. I like it. She said, cause I'm always putting on, putting on for them country boys that always sing yeah, along. Right. We don't need another chase I'm cause the, the game's too strong. Always acting always like a bitch, along. like the name Luke Combs. The backwoods, I'm the... <sighs> Combs this. He said, you always acting like a bitch, like your name Luke Combs, he said. <laughs> Just Trey, man. He ain't afraid to speak his mind. I appreciate that. No, we sing along. We don't need another chase, cause the game's too strong. Always acting need, like uh, a bitch, like the name. He said, and he also said we don't need another chase because the game too strong. Always acting like a bitch like your name Luke Combs. He just dissed Chase and Luke in the same bar. Chase Matthew and Luke Combs in the same fucking bar. He said we don't need another chase. But acting like a bitch like your name Luke Combs. He says I love it. <laughs> Bring that back. There we go. Country boys that always sing along. We don't need another chase because the game's too strong. Always acting like a bitch, strong, like the name said. Luke Combs. But backwoods, I'm the bad wolf for the pack. But hey. Bucky, you just want your way your carcass on my back. I'm a big dog, I got my status from that. I've been the lion, see you lying down from hitting my traps. I've been that country motherfucker, like Johnny Cash, Shaka. The one that rolls around in the woods, motherfucker. The shotgun will bust you up, but we know you don't want to. Awesome one. They're all awesome. <laughs> Fucking sick, man. I like that. That's a good one right there. Backwoods Bandit. We got Backwoods Bandit popping up there off of this same album as well. This was a good one. I like this. I really like the hook on this one too. Don't end up, he said, you don't want to end up like a buck in the field, call it supper. That Chase and Luke bar was really good. I like that that one got slid in there. He just had to like specify, see, he, see, that's the thing. He started out, he said, he started the first verse, and the first verse, he said that all the people, everybody's trying to rap, but most, none of their bars got any substance to them or anything like that. And then in the second verse, he dissed the country artists that he thinks don't have the substance now with their art, right? <clears throat> so he, he took country and rap and dissed both of them. Proper country rap right here, right? You gotta appreciate that. Throwing those shots inside of there. Just voicing his opinion and where he stands on it. He thinks the independent art and the storytelling of this lane here is a lot more genuine than what the mainstream has to present. I would have to agree on that front. All the independent art that I listen to always gets me feeling something very deep and very relatable always a lot of energy it, it has more like it has more aura than mainstream that's the word for it that's actually the word for it independent art has much more aura than mainstream music does mainstream music just lacks depth and like color even like it, it just lacks variety and it lacks different shades to it. You guys know what I mean. You guys know what I'm saying. It's just fucking... like... <clears throat> staticky, right? <laughs> it's like static in your brain waves after you listen to mainstream over and over and over and over and over. It's like brainwashing. And shit like this has a uniqueness and a diversity to it that's very personal to 
a specific person's story rather than molding a character to make money inside of the big mainstream industry for the suits and ties that aren't even going to properly pay the artists like the a lot like with a lot of these deals and stuff i've talked about this on the channel before with a lot of the deals and shit the artists get like advances and if they blow it all they still have to like pay a lot of that back but they have to bank on their albums actually selling and ticket sales and merch sales which also are getting a percentage taken out of them and already put into the pockets but then they have to take their percentage that they're paid and they have to pay back the advances with that so what does that really leave them leaves them with a bunch of loans and looking rich when they're actually not that's what it leaves them with where with stuff like this you just get genuine people making genuine music and living their best fucking life no matter how much money they have and that's the beauty of it <laughs> that's the difference and i appreciate the independent side of it much more for that reason it's very very much more freedom and a lot more substance and that's basically what just Trey is talking about with some of the bars in this i appreciate this one i know you're probably going to see this you did a good job bud i really enjoyed this awesome job on this one thank you for showing support on the channel it means the world creek squad thank you guys you guys have really been a blessing in my life and up church and just Trey and Everyone in Creek Squad, I've just been a blessing in my life, and I appreciate you guys forever. So, we're going to get out of here with this one. The original video will be in the description. Subscribe to Just Trey. Support all the artists, especially the independent ones. Go get help for mental health and addiction if that's something that you struggle with inside of your life. I like to make sure I say that, like I said at the beginning as well, as somebody who survived alcoholism, drug addiction, and mental health problems all at the same time. I know what the rodeo is like on that one, and it's it's a hell of a time. I promise you it can get better. You just have to apply yourself and really put your mind to it and find better things to do inside of your life, better ways to spend time, new hobbies, find your talents, share them with the world inspire other people to go get help for themselves as well we're all here to live our best life fuck all the drama bullshit we always got something going on with that don't we we all know about that so fuck all of that though we ain't here for that we're here for the good times and the awesome music i love you guys i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away fuck those apples Leave a like for me, comment those suggestions, subscribe up that way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.